of rolly, yeah. which causes a problem, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, makes them a little scary to cut. So you want to give them a, a flat edge. And uh, and if it's it's if it's too big, if it looks kind of too, too unwieldy, if it's too long, cut it in half, and then just cut it in half lengthwise. So then it's flat. So now it's not moving on you. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's really all there is to it. And then depends on how big you want to make your carrot cuts. You may just want to make the little half moons like that, which is fine. Or if you want smaller cuts, just like we did with the onion, maybe slice it lengthwise a few times, and um, and then hold them together, and just slice through them like that. And keep your fingers. That's right, the claw. Remember, it's like you want to yes. tuck tuck your fingers. <laughs> that that should be the that should be the first thing we should talk about, right? Okay, so. So you never want to cut veggies with your fingers out like that, because mm -hmm. then, and I've lost the tips of my fingers so many times. Um, so you don't want to do that. You want to hold it so that it, your fingers are tucked under a little bit. So it takes a little bit of practice, but um, you just don't want to want to lose your finger taps. And um, you can you can hold them back for you know back from the knife blade, you know, until you feel comfortable. And then if when you feel comfortable. You can actually slide your fingers back like an inchworm and you put the knife blade right along this flat part of your finger. And so you make a cut, you slide your fingers back, make a cut. So just think like of an inchworm kind of inching back and back and back. 